What's going on YouTube? West Hobbies RC. So today we are back with a very requested video on how to charge stick packs. So you can see I have a couple different things laid out on the table here. We have a couple different stick packs, no ends, with ends. We have a balance board, which is tying multiple batteries to one. We have some adapters made up and we have my choice of charger, the ISDT P30. So hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and let's get started. So the first thing we need to do is we need to discuss what a stick pack is. So the one thing you will notice right off the bat is a stick pack, regardless of the size, here we have some Laperior Air 3300 70C 6S 6S, so 12S stick. We also have some Laperior Air 5000 milliamp 70C 12S stick pack. Now, there's two different kinds of stick packs. Every pack you see here on the table is a 6S and 6S pack. So we're gonna break this pack down into two different batteries. So one thing you will notice is that you have a battery here and you have a battery here. So let's label it battery one and battery two. That's the way you have to think about this. They're just in line with each other. If you notice the back battery, you can see the wires under the heat shrink. Those are gonna be this set here. So if you completely eliminate the bottom half, this is just a six cell battery. So you have a six cell balance lead. So six plus one, which is power. And then you have a positive and a negative. Now, when we turn the battery on its side, we notice there is no wires under the heat shrink and we have the second 6S battery. So you have your balance lead here, 6S, and you have your positive and your negative. Now, if this was a true 12S battery, there would only be one set of leads coming out. As you can see, all of our packs have two sets of leads and there would be a 12 or 13 pin balance lead. So it would be twice this long and you would only have one positive and negative. So now regardless of the actual connectors you use, that is all a personal preference. So you can see my 12S 5000 here has RC Pro S7s. Now you will notice that one of them is shorter, the negative is shorter on this side and the positive is shorter on this side because we're splitting this battery into two different six cells. You will also notice I have an orange ring on the shorter leads and I have regular red and black on the longer leads. The reason for this is a series connection. So when we plug this in, this has now became a 12 cell LiPo. So now all of our voltage is gonna be coming out at 50 volts when you put a voltmeter on both of these leads. And when we disconnect this series connection, now this is 22 volts, 22 volts, or 25 volts, 25 volts, if you're fully charged or storage. And now this is two independent six cell batteries. Now the reason for this is what charging. Most people don't have a 12 cell charger. So now personally, I love the ISDT P30. This is a great charger at a great price. Now the P30 will do up to 8S, which is the main reason why I am using this charger. And it will also do some crazy power. It'll take 10 to 34 volts in. It'll put 60 amps out, 30 amps per port, single at a thousand watts, the whole model's 1500 watts. Very, very good charger. So now you'll notice we have an XT90 for power in. There's also a little USB here for charging stuff like cameras. I use it a lot. And we have XT60 outputs, our balance leads on the side. So what I personally do is you can buy these extension boards, which is 2 to 8S. And I plug these into the side of my ISDT charger. And this allows to not have to fiddle with getting the actual balance lead in there. And it also allows for flexibility on what packs you are charging. Now, the other important thing is to make up a lead depending on the connectors that you are using on your battery. So for example, XT60, because that's what plugs into this charger. So if you have a charger that has XT90s or you have banana four millimeter bullets, whatever your charger is, you're gonna have to make up a lead that plugs into your charger because you're not gonna be running XT60s on your battery. And that lead goes to our RC Pro connector. So we have one side and we grab the next lead, we have two sides. So now our charger, we're gonna grab the other balance lead, is broke up into two different channels to charge our two different cells. So we have one, two, one and two. Now. Say you don't have a two port charger, but you still wanna charge both cells at the same time, you can get what is a balanced parallel board. 
So what this does is this one is up to 8S. The lead that comes with it is 6S only. So what this would do is we would take the series plug out, which we don't have to because we have a balance board here that we can plug right into. So we would disconnect both of our XT60s because we don't need that here. And then we would plug the parallel board into this channel. Then we would take our 6S balance lead, plug it into our board. So now we could take both of our adapters that we made from XT60 to RC Pro, and we can plug one there, we can plug one there, and then you could actually make up two more and you could charge two stick packs off of this. It's very good for that. Then you would plug your balance lead from the battery and that would plug into one and two. Now, what is very important when you are doing any kind of balance charging or regular charging with two different ports is it's very important that you keep the actual cells separated. So what I mean by that is when you are charging your packs, so we're gonna plug these 60s back in and we're gonna power up the charger and we're gonna demonstrate how this works. You need to make sure that you have your one and two. So the way I do it is my charger goes like this to my battery. I split this to this port. So we'll plug this side into here and then I split this into this port. So that way there is no confusion and we don't accidentally charge this cell, but balance this cell. So that is the way to make sure that this is split into two cells. Now we need to power up our charger. So I made up this lead, which is XT90 to four millimeter bullets, because this is my power supply side, charger side. So we're gonna plug our charger in here, just like that. Then we're gonna plug our power supply in, which is just a 12 volt computer power supply that we made. Turn that power on, our charger is gonna come up. So now you're gonna see channel one, channel two. So again, we're splitting the battery into two channels. So now we're gonna take the battery. I wanna do this where you guys can see this. So I start with my balance leads first. You don't have to, but that's just the way I do it. So I'm gonna plug my balance lead in. You will notice that 378 across the board. And then we're gonna plug in our power leads. So of course, red to red, black to black, just like that. You can see our boards. And then we're gonna do the same with this side. So we're gonna plug in our 6S balance lead. Now, if you had balanced extensions, it would make it easier. The new versions, if you've noticed, on the Lapeerier packs come with very long balance leads, so you don't need the extending. They come very, very long, just as long as the power wires. So that is a little upgrade. I could like it and not like it at the same time. So now we're gonna plug in port one and port two. So now our battery is split into two separate ports. So I'm trying to get the glare off the screen so we can see now. So you'll see we're at 27.7 volts on channel two, and we are at 22 or 22.7 volts on channel two, 22. Point seven volts on channel one, three, eight, seven, or three, seven, eight across the board on every cell. These Lapeerier packs are very well balanced. So now when we're charging, you're gonna push, you'll see here we have our menus. We're gonna charge at five amps, which is one C. You can charge up to five C. We're gonna hit start. This side is on. We're gonna come over to this side, hit start. Now our pack is charging five amps per side. Left side's coming up, the five amps. That's what we set it to and our pack is gonna charge just like every other 6S LiPo would. Now, of course, we don't actually wanna charge, so we're gonna come over here, we're gonna hit stop, and we're gonna to come to this side, and you can see five ohms, or five, hit stop. Now, we don't wanna charge, so we're gonna leave it like that, but you get the idea on how to charge this pack. Then when you are done, your battery is full, you're just going to unplug your balance lead, unplug your main power leads, plug your balance lead on the other cell, and then of course, unplug your main power lead on the other cell. Your charger is completed, so we can set the charger aside. Now our battery is fully charged, and we're gonna plug in our series connection, and now we are ready to fly, and we have our main power lead to plug into the helicopter, just like a 6S LiPo. Again, this series connection is just here to connect the two six cell batteries together. Battery one, battery two. Very, very simple. They look intimidating, but it's not hard to understand a stick pack. And again, if you want a true 12S LiPo and your battery can do it, or your charger can do it, then you can make a true 12S. I personally recommend running RC Pro connectors on this size battery. I like the S7s, the S6 works. You can get soldered or solderless. 
I use all soldered, but I have used solderless as well. And whenever you're ready to charge or discharge, unplug your series connection and your two six cell batteries are ready to charge. So I hope that has answered some of your guys' questions on how to charge these batteries. I get that question a lot. They look intimidating, but they're very simple. So I'm going to leave a link to Lapeerier, to rcbattery.com for the Lapeerier Air. They have been an awesome company. They have supported me for a long time. I fly their batteries like crazy. So check them out. Great price. Now, if you don't want to make or don't want to buy your own stick pack, you can make them personally for the money. It's worth just buying them. Very simple, unless it's a special size that they don't make. But thanks to Lapeerier Air and my recommendations, they started making the 5000s and the 3300s because we needed some more options on the market so you can run any connector you want personally on these batteries i definitely recommend going with the rc pro s7s or s6s i like s7s but you can run s6s as well i will link the 5000s and the 3300s in the description below i will also link the connectors since you guys ask about these connectors and i will try to link the isdt p30 charger that i recommend down there so I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Take care and have a great day.